Hey guys, it's Tessa. Um, so this week I wanted to add some like decor stuff to our apartment. We have lived here for like about a year and we have practically no decor on the walls. But I have been seeing a lot of the like wisteria or like hanging lavender, some people call it, um, all over like TikTok, Instagram and stuff. And I just think it's so cute. So I'm making a vine of it to go above one of my doorways. I've already gotten started on making the like wisteria pieces. So that's this like hanging vine. Um, I've made a, a few, just, just a couple of them. You know, not, not a crazy number. Um, I've also started connecting them to the vine. And, you know, it's only, it's only like 12 of them. I've only made 12. Um, but basically what I'm doing is I made a small bunch of them first because I wanted to see like the different lengths I can make them in and go from there. The colors I'm using for this are various shades of pink, purple, and blue. And um, the way to make these is quite simple. Um, we will make this one of my 20 chain little guys. So the way to do that, I'm using a four millimeter hook. Um, whatever hook size, or excuse me, whatever yarn you're using, you're gonna wanna use a slightly smaller hook size than recommended. Um, to in order to get that like twist to actually twist um, so I'm using a four millimeter on yarn that typically requires a five or um, a five and a half you can go down even smaller than this I sometimes do to like my 3.25 or my three and a half um, I've just noticed that the four is kind of most consistent um, you'll see on this one it's a little bit smaller the stitches the chains are a little bit tighter to each other um, but that's just because the yarn itself is a little bit thinner, so it made more sense to do it that way. Firstly, you're going to chain 20 plus 6, so 26. And then you'll find where the 6 chain from the hook is. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's going to be this one here. And we're going to insert our hook into that 6th chain. And you're going to yarn over, pull through. So now you should have a single little loop here. Next, you're going to chain 5. And you're going to go back into that same chain still. Perfect. And then you'll chain five again. And then you'll go into the next open chain. So this is the one we've already put a bunch of into. And this one's our next one. You'll go chaining five. You'll chain five, you'll go through the second, or you'll go through that same chain again. Run over, pull through all of the loops on your hook, and you'll chain five again. And then you'll go into the open chain, run over, pull through. And you'll keep repeating this until you get to the length in which you want to um, increase your chains. Alrighty, so we are at the point where we are going to increase our chain length each time we do it. Um, and personally, I don't like increasing the chain length when I'm moving from the stitch I just worked in to the new one. I feel like it creates too much gapping. So instead, we're going to chain five like we just did. I can count sometimes, that's five. And we're going to go into the new chain space just like we've done it previously. Sorry, my hook's a little finicky. And then we're going to yarn over, pull through. And then here, you're just going to chain up to six now. Great, and chain into the same stitch. Run over, pull through, chain six again. And then you'll go into the new stitch, and you'll just keep repeating this. So periodically, you'll just switch into, uh, periodically you'll switch to um, chain seven, and then eventually towards the end, you'll go to the chain eight. Um, the only thing that's a little bit different is this final stitch we do slightly differently. So. Alright, so we're now on the second to last chain here. And we're basically going to do it the same way we've done previously. So I chained eight on the last one. Going into the new one, yarn over, pull through both loops. We're going to chain eight again. Oops, eight. We're going to go into our current chain, yarn over, pull through both. 
and then instead of chaining eight again like we would normally, instead we are just going to add a single crochet into this final stitch. Um, you're welcome to do a slip stitch here if you'd like and then cut your yarn or just cut your yarn as is because what we do is on the vine we're going to go into this single crochet to attach it to the rest of the vine. Alright, so I ended up making just five bundles of the wisteria or lavender, whatever you want to call it. Because I thought the black and the gray color were just a little too contrasty for what I wanted. Um, and since I did make less of these, I'm also going to only make them, I think, go across like half of the doorway. Um, I'll show you more in a minute, but I think I'm only going to have them go across half the doorway. Um, because I actually really like how the bunching looks when there's like a couple of them stacked on each other. Especially when you can see the color through each other, or different colors through each other. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is create like a sequence that never really repeats itself. So there's never like a visual sequence you can see. Um, and from there I'm going to add them to a chain of... I think it's going to be like a hundred. It's going to be a chain of a hundred. And the way I'm going to connect them, and I'll show you, is I'm going to chain a hundred and I'm going to slip stitch a couple and then I'm going to take the single crochet that I have on the end I'm going to slip stitch into that and then slip stitch through the chain that that single crochet is on as well so there's like a two-step hold for uh, each of these guys and I'm gonna go across the entire 100 chain strip all right so I've already started connecting a few just to kind of see if that spacing was right. I think it is. So I'm just gonna chain like four, just so it's out of the way. And so here's how we're attaching them. So what I'm first gonna do is I'm just gonna go into the back bump here, looking at my sequence. I think it's time for um, a restart of it. Yeah. So we'll go with a, we'll just go with another purple of the same color. Again, I'm not really caring too much about these different lengths. I purposely added them for just, you know, diversity, essentially. Um, this is one of the first ones, so it doesn't have that single crochet we did. So instead, I'm just going to go into the top chain. Just find my green yarn for the vine. Pull through that, and then pull through both loops on our hook. Because again, we're just slip stitching these together versus actually like single crocheting them or anything. So again, we go through this back bar, and we find another integration point. And so for that, it's going to be the first chain space. Oops. There you go, so this first chain space here. We're gonna slip into that, slip through all the loops on our hook. We've attached it. And because I did 100 and I have 25 of the ivies made, or the um, Wisteria's made, Every four stitches is, or technically every three stitches, is one of the ivies because it'll go on the fourth one. So it's going to be two just normal slip stitches of the green. Oh my gosh. So one, and then two. And then we're going to try a new color. I think I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with this one now, this pink color. We're going to, this one has it, has that single crochet, so we're going to go into that single crochet, pick up our green yarn, pull through everything on our hook, go through the next stitch, toss over those ends, we're going to go through the chain space, pull everything through, and then you're going to slip stitch two. And you're going to continue process, that process all the way down the line. Um, and then from there, I'll show you how I'm hanging it. And then okay, we're done. Okay, so it looks like I forgot to do a like final thoughts section. So I'll just do that here. Um, and you'll hear me continue to talk about it here in a second. Um, but uh, overall, this project was really quick and easy to make. I think if I really just sat down and do it, I could make five of each color in about an hour and a half. So realistically, it would probably only take me about six hours to eight hours to do all five colors again um, and even then like I mentioned soon or like I'm about to mention um, I want to make one that is just like the pinks and the purples I think that would be cute um, I think my friend also wants one that's just purples so I've got a bunch of ideas now to do and <laughs> to make uh, but overall 
I really like this project. It's really simple. Um, it's really easy, especially if you can get the um, wisterias down, like how to do them. Um, additionally, I kind of made a comment, I think, about this. If I didn't, I'll put it here. Um, but uh, if you guys do choose to make this or you've made it from somebody else and you have questions on it, feel free to leave a comment or reach out to me on Instagram or my other socials, and I'm happy to answer any questions that I can. Um, additionally, uh, I think the only thing I would do differently on this project is I would add a row of slip stitches across the top again, but on like every six or seven uh, like spaces, I would add like a little leaf motif or something. Um, so it has a little bit more flair and it's not just like a strip of green holding it up. Maybe I'd even add like leaf ivy coming down as well. Maybe that would look cute. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Feel free to let me know if you make this or if you have any other ideas like this because I would love to add more of this kind of stuff in my apartment. Ta-da! It's not perfect. It wasn't even supposed to go up in this doorway originally, um, but <laughs> I'm too short to reach most of the other doorways. I'm 5'6", and yeah, 5'6", and I still can't reach half of our doorways. But actually, I think this looks really cute here. I'm not sure how my husband feels about it, but I really like it, and so it's going to stay there for now. Um, I do want to make one, I think, that is just the darker purple, the lavender, the more like hot pinky color, so this one. And then I think I want to get like a pastel pink or something and do one that's just in those four colors and find somewhere to hang it up that my husband will let me put it <laughs> um, and go from there. Um, as you just saw, it's kind of a pain to use thumbtacks. I think instead, if I had the choice, I would use like C hooks or if I just had like screws, I could use those. Um, but I live in an apartment and so I'm trying not to punch a bunch of holes in our wall. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that was today's video. Um, let me know if you end up making anything like this or if you've seen this before. I think I saw it on TikTok originally. I don't remember the creator and I can't find him right now. Uh, but if I do, I'll tag them below for you. But yeah, see you next week.